hard it is to get slut out of Egyptian cotton. Max, Jane, you remember Jackie. Hi. I'm, I'm gonna need vodka in a water glass with ice, and I'm gonna be ordering water from you all night long, so one water, please. Did we start already, or do you really want water? Just bring me vodka, okay. You know, Jewish dudes are my jam. Like that Shia LaBeef. Love to connect with him, huh? Am I right, Todd? I think I'm right. <laughs> I'm more of a Megan Fox guy, bro. Oh, are you really? <laughs> okay, it really is all about connecting, isn't it, Todd? Really great bridesmaid work, Jane. You know, Dave, if a few sentences can make a girl run out of your wedding, you weren't really on solid ground in the first place. And you have a terrible habit of always seeing the good in people. What's Jane doing? It's a weekend, she's relaxing. Just a pitch. Wouldn't it be easier to find these stackables if they're in the shelving section? I know what you're thinking. Is this woman questioning the organization of a store whose sole purpose is to help people organize? <laughs> yes. Jane, this brunch is amazing. Oh, please, I was just reading some cooking blogs and got a little epicurious and decided to just, you know, throw together whatever looked fun. Candied walnut? These are fantastic. Did you make them yourself? Couldn't have been easier. You just crack them, hull them, toast them, brush them with a little bit of olive oil, then rub them with cayenne pepper, some turmeric, and some cinnamon sugar, and you put them in the oven for a quick roast, flipping them every five minutes for an hour and a half. Are you crying? A little bit. I am just so tired. Hello, Matt. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I startle you? They're still here. They're not leaving until tonight. Why did you tell me they were leaving? They loved me. Hmm. They didn't love me? Uh. But I killed. I don't think you understand what killed means in this context. So the other night, Maxie and I got in our first fight, and I tried to stay mad at him, but look at this punum. How could you stay mad at this punum? How could you? Oh, give me this punum. Uh -oh. <sighs> but you know, you know since he gets it from this guy, huh? Uh, look at you. Oh, <laughs> this chick says got a pish. She's even learning Yiddish. Boy, she's a keeper. <laughs> yes, I am. No. Just follow my lead, Jane. The key, I'll tell you right now, this one's for free, is stretching out your lats. It gives you a little extra torque on your kill kicks. You know what I heard gives you extra torque as well is knowing where your lats are. Okay. I know where my lats are. Uh -huh. All right. Here. All right, everyone, pay attention. My name is Yoni, which in Hebrew is short for God's gift. Unfortunately, in Sanskrit, it means female genitals. Let's pair off and start with some light disarming. Everyone grab a rubber knife. OK, baby girl, just going to take it nice and easy, OK? Just going to come at you kind of half speed. Here I go. Ow. Oh. Ow. 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 Jane. Ow. What the? Ow. 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 Nice Jane. work, Gerez. Nice work. OK, let's do it again. Hop up, Moyoni, huh? Let's come on. How did this even come up? Because I tried to fix him up with Franklin from work. That guy? Yeah. Franklin's so boring. When I'm tired, I count Franklin's. <laughs> like a sheep. Good luck with that. I. I'm gonna go get my crop on. <laughs> Benny and I are having so much fun with this. Really? Sure about that. She loves it. Beautiful. <laughs> now use your own gun against him. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Wonderful, Jane. Wonderful. You're like a cobra. Swift, lethal. Benny, you will have a sparsely attended memorial service. She's still moving. Pop, 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 pop. Oh. Click, click, click. What? Too intense. It's supposed to be intense. If someone breaks into your house, they are not going to jazz rob you. They're going to rob rob you or murder murder you. Okay, I am doing this for your own good. But you like destroyed my confidence. You beat the Shira out of me. Fine. Have fun in your dance class, and when you get your killer instinct back, you know where I'll be. I can find my killer instinct right here. Okay, I lost you this. I'm Sure you want to do this? Uh huh. Because I'm not gonna hold back, Penny. Who's Penny? My name is Shira. Abramowitz. Ah! Oh, oh. Crowdy, Pen. You got your killer instinct back, but it doesn't mean I still don't own you in crop. Ah! Oh. Oh, get him! Get him! More ruthless, like you're a gang member. Good, good trip. I like it.
Krav Maga that might have beaten you, but it was the Jazz Kwon Do that made it look so fine. Jazz Kwon Do? Well, do I sign up? Don't do this, dude. She is seriously competitive. With that 59 hot dog, Kobayashi is now the best competitive eater in the world. I need 60 hot dogs and an egg timer. Bring it. Okay, I own you, all right? I am in your head, and I got a three-bedroom condo in there with a marble island and a pizza oven and a wine okay, fridge. Okay, we got it. Okay, but you do know that that's my dream kitchen right there. You guys are... All right, next zombie challenge. Bring it or bling it. Not a real phrase. <laughs> zombie sense motion. So what we're gonna do is person who sits still the longest wins. And that will be me, because you are a type A nut job who can't sit still. Oh, please. It is on like Donkey Tron. <laughs> I know you're trying to sound confident, but you sound like a 50-year-old divorcee talking to their stepson. Game will begin in three, two, <clears throat> one. You want to clean up that beer so bad? Mm -mm. Clean up the beer. Mm. Look at it spilling all over the ground, making a huge mess. God, you gotta clean up. Okay, it is not just messy, it is unsafe. Zombies have taken you down, and I am using your body as a sleeping bag, Tauntaun style. By the way, I have no idea whose boxers those are. Oh. Oh, I do. They're Gary, the Polish neighbors. Came over and cooked pierogies. Look who got served now, bro. <laughs> Shut your poor mouth, okay? He just got his heart broken.